102 years ago, Henry Ford introduced the first moving assembly line. Well, we're guessing he would be amazed by a new way of making cars. Here's Juliana Goldman. The big thing at this month's Detroit Auto Show wasn't made on an assembly line, but on a 3D printer. Local Motors CEO Jay Rogers believes it'll revolutionize the way cars are made. I like to think about it as you go to a car wash today and you stand in front of the window and you're like, look at my car getting washed. It's the same thing. Look at my car being made, being printed. Right now that takes 40 hours, but the goal is to get it under 12. What is printed and what is not printed? About 95% of the volume of the car is printed. Structure, body, closeouts, all that stuff, it's all printed. We don't print tires right now. We don't print wheels. We don't print springs. And we're not right now printing the motor. Roger says an electric version of this vehicle could be available by the end of the year and start anywhere from eighteen to thirty thousand dollars. And instead of picking from the dealer's lot, each consumer is a designer. You can come and say I want four seats, I want five seats, I want six seats. But there could be roadblocks ahead. These first models are built to cruise around neighborhoods at under 40 miles per hour. To get on the highway, they'll need to meet rigorous federal road safety standards. So this is pretty sturdy. Yeah, here. this is really sturdy. In fact. And he'll need to convince customers that a printed car is safe. I think you hear plastic and you think of something flimsy. You don't think if you're on the highway next to a Mack truck that plastic is going to protect you. This is carbon fiber reinforced thermoplastic. So what we're talking about is something that actually is an aerospace grade material. The car of the future. Just click, print, and drive away. Juliana Goldman, CBS News, Detroit.